take out some sun and didn't do it last week. <laughs> Forwards and backs. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Side to side. One, two, three, four, five. Side to side. Side to side. Storm blow going tonight. Forwards and backs. Ooh, first, <laughs> six. Then we did flip flops. Rock, step, flip. Rock, step, flop. Face one way, two. Again, we did it on the spot as well. Step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. Then we did um, circle. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven,
Dada freeze, and then we're going to go into what we learned tonight, which um, is more hip changes. We're going to do our boogie backs, boogie forward, boogie back, boogie forward, shorty George, boogie back, shorty George, boogie back. Goes like this. Five, six, seven. just going to have a little counterbalance away from each other. So for this, we're not going shoulders out, I'm not going butt out. We're trying to just have a nice little sit so that our feet, uh, our body is straight up and down. Our torso. And our feet are effectively in front of us. They're, our centre of gravity is out here somewhere. Yeah. So then what we did is we sort of come on weight and we can basically just step just around each other a little bit like that. Our feet are well, very much in the middle while we keep that counterbalance going. Now this is useful in all sorts of moves, but where, where we took that with was we put a little bit of that, not a lot, just a little bit of that into a circle. So normal kind of circle where we're going one, two, three, and four, five, six, we've got a little V, which is, which is cool. With this move, what we were trying to do is get a little bit more of one, two, three, spacing each other more and having more of a counterbalance away. So different angle. We were looking for one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if that five, six, we end up very square away from each other. And, and you have to dial in the amount of counterbalance. Yeah, and the distance here depends on the length of your arm, Lise. Yeah. Really, if you're shorter, you're going to be closer to your partner. That's just how it is. Yeah. <laughs> and as you get a feel for it, you can, because you don't want to use just straight counterbalance because that will be very big and can be very hard on your wrist, but it's just an alternative to the normal side of the circle. Yeah. And then when we did, after that we did a circle with a little stop on seven, so which will look like one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. And 
and I'm just basically just opening out through seven, eight. So what I'm doing is on my seventh step, I'm stepping forward, so I'm stepping in front of her. As I do that, I'm continuing my upper body to open out. Where we will go with that next time is I'm going to keep opening out into a rock step. So you want to think of it as one big fluid motion. We're not looking for stop and then open because that will make her stop. So we're looking for a stop, a, a pause or a slow for us with a continuation. And I can still feel a pulse even though there's no triples happening. One, two, three, and four, five, six, two. I keep my pulse going. Um, if I choose not to do my triples because I don't feel any triples, so I match that. But I'm still going to keep that pulse alive so he knows that I, I understand what he wants from me. I could smooth it out. It might, I don't know. It might be, feel weird for me anyway. So you want to play with that motion because there's many variations you can do with it. What we were looking to go next time, three, and four, five, six, seven, is to continue opening out and then take it into another move. Because we've created a very different, normally we would have her in a circle. If we were to do a little stop, we might be more like five, six, seven, eight, and we're very close together. And Whereas with this way, I'm looking to step forward and then have her quite far behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I could, I can do my triples. I can choose to do my triples. One, two, three, and four, five, six, triple step. Opens me out more. Um, it doesn't feel the same to me anyway. I don't know what that feels like to you. I much prefer matching what my lead's doing. He kills his triples. I kill my triples. But there's nothing wrong with tripling it. Especially if you want to do some variations. You can take that. You know you stop. You might be able to do some kind of variations in there until he continues you through. Yeah. Just make sure those variations don't kill what he's decided to do. Don't kill the momentum. Yes, we will use the momentum next week. Yeah, and, do something. and build on that. So, um, well done. Quite a complicated class, and we recapped last week, uh, two weeks ago. Um, so hopefully that's feeling better with you guys now. Um, but well done, and thank you for coming out on this storm warning night. <laughs> <laughs>